Hey guys, this is Captain Phoenix back in the action, and as you can see, we are on the fifth level, the Grey Havens, on the good campaign of Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2. Now, for those who aren't really caught up, I suggest you watch my other four campaigns that will be released, that are released before this. So, first our mission was Rivendell to protect, to protect the Valor. We then travelled to the High Pass to clear the Misty Mountains, which led us to the Etamors, where we defeated the last of the Goblin regimes in the mountains. Now we've cleared the path so we can travel from east to west of the borders. Now here was the Blue Mountains. The drag a dragon serving Sauron attacked the Blue Mountain stronghold where the dwarves lie and we help and we help the dwarves take back the mountain. But they've decided not to help the new alliance. So we are now travelling to the Great Havens. But based on what we know now, the um Corsairs of Umbar and the or and the goblins of it launched an attack to try and prevent any elves from leaving because during this time the time of the elves is over in middle earth the people are leaving middle earth to travel to valinor and valinor is the original it's the original land where the elves resided no it's also known as the undying lands because during this time in the first age of middle earth one could argue before the first age malcor began his sieges upon Valinor, but he fled to Middle Earth, now taking, now possessing the name Morgoth, the first Dark Lord of Middle Earth. Where his second in command, Sauron, led, was leading, led his armies along what brought Morgoth was the very first. After thousands of years, elves in Middle Earth had finally begun their exodus homeward across the sea. Because they know, they know they can't stay here now, because uh, they were doing it in the second age as well, many elves were leaving. In the Rings of Power they've done that as well. See? So basically, we've got to defend the boats, I'm willing to bet, and we've also, and probably have to defend from land attacks as well. So that's going to be a challenge. Now, I mentioned my other videos, I like to remove uh, the background music for our copyright reasons. That is buffering out a lot. And now their ships linger in the gulf, sinking Wait, have I, wait, have I got dwarves as well? That's neat. Dwarves, go back to the caves and tell our brothers the enemy is here. Surely they were attacking the settlements. One of the mallow trees is under the mountains. Oh, never mind. Uh, Elves of Midgard. Yeah, Corsairs of Umbar. Get to the Corsairs out of these waters. Let's see if I can get some soldiers out. I'm literally doing this to try and... Uh... No, there's no point, they're gonna... Let me try it like that. So what, so what I'm expecting, honestly, is that they might try to do multiple ambushes and multiple fronts. So I have to, so first thing I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to clear in this area, I need to have a look at where the enemy is most likely going to try to attack. So let's just clear, let's just... So I'll get some, uh, so I'll get some cavalry made and I'll have to build up some defensive positions. So to me, it looks like we have to travel through the... Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, I'm guessing we have to just build fleets of ships and then just protect them. There has to be more because, look, the, the land mass is so massive here, so I'm guessing we've got to travel... I'm guessing there's another way, or is it literally just going to be a matter of defend the ships and, and the fortress? Right, I'll build a builder, because I don't know if we're going to get a builder or not, so I'm not risking it. So what I'll do is, let's just see what we got. So this whole terrain is probably open, so what I'm going to do is, 
to prevent enemy fronts. It looks like they are just attacking for multiple, a lot of open areas. So I have to, so I build a wall way across this entrance path and then the, no, yeah, so, the, so I'm guessing this wall that's stopping them from getting through. So I'd be willing to bet that we have to go, they'll have to travel through this way if they are coming from land and basically just fight their way through. So what I'll do is, I'll put some uh, pikemen on the front here to buy them time, put some watched towers there and a wall. Meanwhile, I can have a number of soldiers ready, just in case. What levels my no level of heroes though? They're all nine and stuff. All enemy forces have been cleared, so what I'm going to do is... Just gonna. It is time to build. I hate when it does that in the game. It, it like, likes to buffer out because I've been practicing on skirmishes as well. On the because I mentioned it on thing in my previous video, I've been practicing with the different skirmishes. And I think I also put it down on one of the what comments on one per. So what I'm willing to bet we have to do is hold on secure both ship rights. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build up everything first before I capture these. Because I'm willing to bet I can't continue further in the game until I do that. I'd rather be prepared than not prepared. Ready your tools. Right, so, build a wall there, build another wall there, put watchtowers here, and then have my cavalry here. So even if they destroy the wall, they're going to have to fight their way through. So, again, I'm making a good amount because I want to make sure I've got room, basically, to do work. So let's double check my abilities. Is there any more I can acquire? Nope. What I'll probably do is get this one the heal structure because then uh, just in case I can uh, prepare all my forces rather. Any fightmen? The oh, there you go. There's your apartment. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just double checking everything. Yeah, so I'm probably not gonna get any more now. So what I'm gonna so I'm gonna actually move everything here. Building materials. Debating should I get an int? Coming through. I'm mentioning here. Yeah, but I believe actually, if my memory serves correctly, this is actually the land where I don't know for sure, but I think actually this is where. All right, so let's go. I always try to get as max number of there as possible, just so it makes it look a bit neater. Then I'll put a gate there and everything, so I can, so I can travel through. So like I said, I'm literally the next to the shipyard to reclaim it. building some walls, so even if I've got that, the enemy are going to have to fight their way through. And like I said, and so during this time we can just build up enough soldiers when we make enough resources to basically blast our way through the enemy. So what can we build? Yep, we can only build gates. So I'll build it here. I do like this little thing like what it's kind of a thing what medieval castles actually used to do they would build up like a wall bit here so I'm going to remove this one and then you put another gate on it this was like um it was a method that they would use to actually defend positions a lot more effectively Work to be 
said, and now I can just literally just keep building up resources. Now people are going to say, why am I doing this? Like I don't need to. But whatever, whatever gets trapped up, I might need a help. You see, I am prepared for anything. And again, I could do this if I wanted to. And that's what I'll do. So now what I have to do is just build a, build a gate there. So when the enemy have to come through this way, they've got to then, uh, they'll get boxed and trapped here. We're Again, I don't know for sure, but I am not risking it. I'm not risking, I'll probably do the same here. I'll build watchtowers there and there. Build watchtowers here and here. Here and here. Because no doubt I can't build any there. So I'm not... So I need to be careful though with this bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level this up. Because what that will then let me do, is let me bring soldiers in a lot fast. A lot faster. So what I'll do is I'll start doing that now. I think I'm trying to remember actually what I talked about last time because I mentioned a bit about the dwarves mostly about when they travelled at when like the quest about like the quest to retake Erebor. I, I always talked about that with like part two because I mentioned that about the books and then the films and stuff about. I've never really read the Hobbit book, but I know about it and everything. Like for instance, I know that in the film, I think I only learned about what happened with the seven dwarven rings until I watched the film. The extended versions, which are so much better. They should never have got them. Because it was interesting that the last of the Seven Rings vanished along with the Wurra. We have a new structure. As I mentioned again, that of the Seven Dwarf Rings... Of the Seven Rings... Okay, so... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build two for each side, and then we've got at least some defences. At least then I'm using both ships. The next one's a thousand, so then I'm just going to save up now, wait for time. The lore of the shipwrights of Midlond is unparalleled. But remember to upgrade the armour and endurance of our naval craft. Let's have a look. Okay, it's not that bad. So I'll do that quick. So let's see what these do. So this um, gives you additional armor, reduces the damage, and this lets you heal all the time. That's okay. That's not bad actually. Okay, that's Siladin's craft work. I don't know what that means though. I'm guessing it's a faction of uh, a faction of elves, or maybe a work an artwork. I don't really know. these now so because I mentioned about the quest of Erebor and everything I actually agreed with Gandalf flat because we understand that the dragon has lay dormant in the mountain for 60 years like and they're fearing that what if Gandalf's plan fails and they awaken the beast but I agreed with Gandalf but what if they were to succeed if the dwarves were able to take back the mountain, the allies' defences in the east would be greatly increased. But the, you know, his concern is only because of about the family, like a strain of a strain of madness dwells in that family. His grandfather lost his mind, went completely mad. His father succumbed to the same sickness.
But again, we all said, like, does it not concern that the last of... That everything is happy and no, and they're not even bothered at it one bit. Because as we said, of the seven dwarf rings, four were consumed by Sauron. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry. Four were consumed by dragons, two were retaken by Sauron before he fell in Mordor in the Battle of the Last Alliance. But we only learned until the part two, I think, yeah, part two of the second film, The Desolation of Smell, that Frame was alive, taken captive by the orcs, taken to Dol Guldur and it was in and was tortured and interrogated to to acquire information. And when they asked they asked him like what Because they asked uh, Frame what did they do to him and uh, Frame said though that he, he never told the orcs. They tried they tried to make him but he never told them anything. And Fran then asks Gandalf, did he keep the map and the keys safe? And the map and the keys the hidden to the hidden passage of Erebor, the one he took. And he mentions that he gave that he gave the, the map and the key to Thorin, because Thorin's taken the quest to reclaim Erebor. If he can retrieve the Ark and Stone, the seven armies of the dwarves will answer to a new king. But then Frain said though that no one must enter Erebor, no one should enter the mountain. And we then discovered why, because Azok Sauron was building his legions to take control of the mountain. And not just for the treasure within, but for where it lies, its strategical position. Because Erebor is the gate to reclaiming the lands of Agmar in the north. If that kingdom was to rise again in his control, Rivendale, Lorien, the Shire, even Gondor itself would fall so easily. Because the, the kingdom. We must build more battleships. We I'm more waiting resources. for more money. I'd rather have everything prepared on the ground than have the fleet ready. Otherwise, I don't have any money. I won't have any resources to help build up defences for our allies. I just gotta, just gotta get ooh, just over fifty. I would, I would like. I need to read up more about the elves. I mean, the elves played a massive role in the first and second age, really. More than the third age, it was more of men in the quest and the the fellowship that played the major role. But during this time, it was actually the elves who were the ones fighting Morgoth originally. And when Morgoth was finally defeated and sealed up and uh, encaged, it was uh, Sauron uh, then took his place as the new lord of the new lord of Middle Earth. Because Sauron declared himself openly as Lord King of Men, Lord of the Earth. Because he managed to he did manage to persuade many orcs and men, many men from the Harajim and. Uh, the Easterlings to, to serve under him. Well, right, let's see what happens. Yeah, with four ships against one, the one ship alone is easily going to lose. This ain't the Battle of the Armada. And for those who don't know, basically one ship took out an entire armada by just being set on fire and blowing up the others. And ironically, the Brits we haven't heard we haven't heard from the Spanish since since the we haven't heard from them since. That's kind of a stupid idea. Who would invent that? That's definitely the Battle of the Armada. That's definitely a ship for the Battle of the Armada. Alright, where is it? Stormship. Okay, it's not bad. 500, yeah, so I'm willing to bet I'd have to force all my soldiers back and then I'd have to basically ram them in. I am aware. Just like my naval ships just do.
That just seems like my shit to do, but I don't know them. Well, first thing I need to do is find the car, find with it. Yeah, the first thing I need to do though is find where the Corsairs are. Oh no, we got an upgrade. Um, what do I want? Rebuild. Just let the ship, just let the navy, just do the job. Now, once we're done, we'll blockade. It. We'll establish a blockade across their borders, so it looks like they were coming from this direction. Yep, what is there? So I'll find where the Corsair ship is. So they've got two naval fronts, so what I'll do is... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is literally have these just to make a blockade. Shoot. Hey, I mean, oh god, they can't reach it. They can't reach long enough, so I'll move them back. Move the fl I'll have to move it, the fleet back and it. Well, that, at least those defences are set up. Trying to think what I can do, but that's what I've got. Uh, I'll get rid of one lorry and archer. Yeah, that's the only thing I've got to figure out. I've got to figure out how to block, block out this bit. Because I knew they were going to use that bit. I've got to figure out how to block it up. One option is I could just build a big wall bit going. Twenty-five, so yeah, I should be farming for two, because I've got. We must capture the Corsair shipyard. Corsair yeah, I'll send a hero each, one archer us. and one warrior. Find it and capture their shipyards. Back to the camp. Good. Now that the transport is complete, load it up with our elven battalions. To the ship. Then whoever fills it first, I'll move the ship then, and then uh, we'll look. Then I'll have it ready to be positioned. But luckily, since I've had the course, I, luckily because I've got these ships here, it can declare. We've got a blockade to stop them, so see. So we need the Corsairs do try and build up some more ships. Our fleet, our blockade's gonna they stop them, gonna hold them off now. And they can and they can regenerate their health, so it's a win-win. Until I figure out how to get rid of them. The building is now finished. Ready your tools. It is time to build. Building materials. Build up 
this land. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm building I'm only building one. I'm here. Where are they? Alright, so Gloin and the Elven Knight and the Elven Warriors, I think. Yep, it's Elven Warriors. I am very aware, I just need to but I have to clear this up first. Oh we on, twenty-five. I would say the only reason this uh, this level's gone on is only because I've because I wanted to prep the fortress and everything. I'd rather prepare my fortress for anything than just uh, stop and than just fly on and just rush into the fight. It's honest, it's more safer that way, honestly. There is much to do. Ready your tools. It is time to build. Then I'll put. Once the transport then I'll put one more here. Select the battalions inside it to unload the transport. When a transport within range of the short line, select it. Plus A to up to units inside. Oh, I already know that because I did that. I'm debating for each um, faction, for each faction of you can play on Lord of the Rings, I've actually played, made like, my own story campaign for it. Like, I'll make a list of what I'll do, like what I, what I think would be a best campaign, and I'd love to give, and I'd love to get um, your channel's insights on it. So if you want me to come up with like a list of like, what I'd do for like a selected campaign after I've finished this one, let me know. Right, now let me, I'll let the fleet go completely ballistic on them. Wait, how's that lose? Wait, how did that lose health? Oh, it must have moved back and then one of the archers probably got to it. That's what I'd be warning about. Right, so now I just need to capture these. Because if we capture these, we can we prevent the enemy from taking more land, so... So what I'll do is as well, I'll have my heroes just do a little investigating. Switch. Because they, they could have a fortress or a stronghold nearby. Oh, there we go. Yeah, if I, if I clear this, I can stop them then. Yeah, they've got transports, like I said. Build a storm ship because I'll then put it right in the middle. See, Luke, because they're now moving in all their soldiers. Ah, See what we got. Yep, goblins. So I was right. And as soon as I look at all that land. Line, up. Line formation. Because no doubt we're going to have a massive 
attack on us. Come on, destroy it. There we go. Yeah, if I was aware of this before, and I would have had it, I would have had the fleet. I would have the fleet already prepared here. That's what I would have done. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have the storm ship destroy it. So then I've got room. And they send the swordsmen first, which is unfortunately bad because they are more effective against. Right, so let's just get let's just get it in, then we'll get the heroes, and then we'll get them out of there because I'd rather just use that because at least then we've got the fleet prepared just in case they ever, in case they try to do like multiple waves of soldiers because they've got mostly pikemen and swordsmen. So let's see what they've got. Does not look like they've got anything else? So I'm willing to bet we have to clear this pathway, and then we've got to build more defenses. To Yeah, so I won't use cavalry because uh, the problem is with using cavalry now is that they've got too many pikemen, so they'll just it'll, it'll cost me too much basically. It'll cost too much, and I would have lost it most of my soldiers. Time. So it's like one of them; it's not worth the risk. I will fix them. We'll take the ship. Yeah, so it'll move now to the to the position. They are there? Yeah, they're all there. Yeah, so no doubt, like I said, Luke. There we go. See? So at least then, see, they can't get free. And they're distracted by that watchtower, which I know is not safe because I'm basically losing. So I lost one builder, but look. It'll keep them busy. So as I'm showing, like, I've literally just put in there just to distract them. There we go. I can't let them break up.
Where's that builder? I'm thinking that one. Where's the builder? Oh, there's my builder. I was thinking then where's the builder? Was it like, the was it trapped there or something? I forgot that I built the second barracks. We're on about it, we're on about we're gonna have. Yeah, it's just to be safe. Oh yeah, the it's you in the background that seem there that means we're gonna have like a what they go. Oh. It's the dwarves! Oh the dwarves! Oh, we've got three minutes to prepare for a new front, so... There's plenty of work to go around. I know what we need to do. I know, I know what we need to do. The building is now finished. We need to build a fortress here. Build multiple wall fronts here. For all the soldiers that are in the front. Thank you, dwarves. There we go, just so uh, I'm building literally a mine shaft so I can just move my forces here. And just move my forces a lot around faster. There is work to be done. Surely there's a better place. Build up this land. Right, so that's preparing. Because uh, what I'm going to do is build multiple walls there, 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 and put watchtowers, and I'm going to put catapults in, so that that's the only way it, it's the only way in and out. Is it me or is this going like a lot faster than it normally should? Probably like a bonus or something because I've got so much done. The fortress is ready! I wonder if other people have done this strategy as well, like, literally the whole point of this is not to just completely wipe out the enemy, it's literally just stolen by time. Oh, crap. Demolish that building, because I don't want... And I'll put some catapults there and there, but I have to build the wall first. It is a lot easier if you start with 4,000 on a level, because what I like to do is... I'm doing it though because this will let me do this. And I just need to. And then on this little gap here, I'm going to move all the soldiers. I'm not going to use any light heavy cavalry. I hope this method works. I'm, I'm open. Oh, 
What am I doing? One the better. One the better. We got tons of yeah. I don't, I can't. It's because they damaged it too much. I should have prepared it for four and that's my own fault that. There is literally. So we got, yeah, just more goblins. What's wrong with Mordor not got enough soldiers to fight that they're too busy with Gondor? That was the thing. I think mostly the the more it was mostly the orcs did the heavy lifting, like the military, because that was like the first. Like, the, it was practically the prime, the backbone of Mordor's armies were the orcs. And also, the Orcs didn't get enough credit. I mean, they were impressive, honestly. Okay, garrison defences, structures, heals, garrison. Yeah, so I'll put some catapults in to prevent them from... Evil is upon us. Come on. War wagon is just doing its job, and I love, I love it that the war wagon does its job. Are they, are they using goats? I love it. I love it when they use the goats. See, oh, yeah, catapults working. Got to admit, the design of the catapults are interesting. Like, they fire two shots at once. That's transports. to be super effective but like I said but once I've got two catapults in and I've got all that range it's gonna help right, then do not waste this all there we go This way, it's just this way, it helps. I think it's the next 45 minutes already. We used to have been on this for a while. There we go. Self repair. This is important because I can now build.
Because that, because I'm not using any, because uh, if I had a gate, I'd have to build. Because if I had a gate, I'd, oh, sorry, if I had heavier, like the water wagons, I'd, been, I'd have to build stuff. So it's a final wave, so. I actually forgot I have my E-Rolls, I feel silly now. But I already moved them in place, so... Where should we build? Right. Yeah, so at least then I've got more defences then. More catapults, is <laughs> by the meaning. Good thing is though, because I learnt this about the transports, they can't use, they can't just move ta catapults or trolls or anything, so there's a win there, unless they move in all the forces from, from like a land area like here, which I doubt they'll do, but you never know, so I'm preparing for anything. There we go. So this way we've got a little more long range distance and we've also got a unit of short distance. And then we've got well he's a me and my Glorn Glorn's just strutting away. Because there's not much change I can do until I lose soldiers. It would have been nice if I could go up to a thousand because then I could have had a few more soldiers but Knowing the game, it doesn't want to make it that easy for me, even if I'm on easy difficulty. Well, I should hope so, otherwise, uh, if they call that a final. Well, words from you, Master Dwarf, but we will not perish at the hands of this rabble, I swear to you. Yeah, well, um... Oh, then. See if I can put more catapults there, because no doubt I'm not going to. My fleet's not going to be able to stop them. The elves are given the last fight to protect. I'm just like trying to save this up. Luckily, I've got all these ready just to be safe. How, oh my god, I'm on five. So, what we got? So, Men of Dale, and then we've got, ooh, Bombard Target with Devastating Artillery. Ooh, I'll definitely want to get, I'll definitely want to get that. So, I'll probably get that next and get that. Because if I literally am a box, if I box them in, then I can just use that one. Boom, 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 boom. And they are down.
And see, we've already got catapults doing the doing the job. That's what you want, you want lot. You want to keep them in a distance so then the catapults do the job, but sometimes but you do want to keep it a little close distance so then you got your archers, but I'll leave it for now. So what I'm gonna do is Rally call. Summon. Enhance. Mist to protect the archers. Now good luck, because they're going to need it. Yeah, and they see they're just getting absolutely demolished here. Doesn't even matter if they've got all these here because look, we've got this. How much are the bombardment ones anyway? Three thousand. What am I gonna? Why am I gonna pay three thousand? I'm sorry. Tell me that. Why am I gonna need three thousand just to do that? I'm probably not getting an acquirement because I'm not getting all that, but why, why am I going to spend 3000 just to get something that I'm not, I'm not even going to be able to use? nearly an hour but then again yeah because i spent time prepping the fortress and everything yeah so i'd recommend if you're playing normal or easy or normal just do this what i did you know what? at least then you're prepped you're prepared because the dwarves have got see so no doubt i've won it no doubt and the last of these fall Ready for battle. See, what I... We are victorious. Grace and good fortune both have favoured us on this day of battle. Yeah, so I'll probably replay it again just so I can, literally just so I can get that achievement because I'm not, I'm not that bothered about the achievement, but. At least we now know we've got. Mountains will fight alongside the free peoples of Middle Earth after all. Thank God. As this new alliance is celebrated, Arwen Evenstar arrives with the help of the Eagles. And this is good now. Now we've got the Dwarves of the Blue Mountains on our side. The alliance. Oh, what's happening? Sauron's massive armies from Dol Guldur have moved north into Mirkwood, the domain of the Elven King Thranduil. The new allies must now rise up and prepare for the long journey eastward to aid their distant friends. They're right. So now we've confirmed the, that the alliance is... ...the eagles to take them directly to Thranduil's side for further counsel. All right, so now we've confirmed it. The dwarves and the dwarves of the Blue Mountain have joined forces with us because they now know this is our last chance, our last fight and stand against the armies of Mordor. We either unite and fight together... Or we all die slow, more slowly. Because that's pretty much how this works. We all fight, and maybe many of us die. And may, or if we, or we stand and cower in our mount in the mountains, where it probably lasts a few weeks, probably a few days to months. Or we sit, or we take a stand. And then, and they've taken the stand. So we're probably going to travel through Mirkwood, and uh, and knowing that. If the story is going to go the way I'm thinking it's going, we're going to actually to help defend Erebor from the last of the Orcs' armies. Because it mentioned Dol Guldur. I'm going to show like a map there. I've got a few minutes until I get up to an hour, so I'm going to show. 
So, Seldium. Yeah, so we're actually travelling to Erebor next. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's eight levels per one. So, we've travelled through all this way. So, now that we've travelled there, we are travelling all the way to these. Because we've cleared the mountains completely, we've got a straight passage. Dol Guldur is around this area in the south of Mirkwood. And this is around, this is Mirkwood. It used to be called the Greenwoods until Sauron's started it casting a shadow of a sickness upon it and now the, the woodsmen who live there call it Mirkwood. So Sauron's forces both in Run and uh, what have taken residence in Dol Guldur are now going to charge together to attack to attack Erebor directly. So during this time it was actually when Sauron was defeated and the forces of uh, Mordor stopped and they withdrew, withdrew because if that didn't happen the dwarves and the, the alliance of the dwarves of Erebor would not have stood a chance. So the hobbits saved the dwarves as well as every, the other king, as well as Gondor and the, the friends at the Black Gates. Again, Dol Guldur is here, and actually it's one of the, the second most powerfulest of the Nazgul, Kardul, actually took residence when Sauron fled to the east. And before he declared himself openly again, when the council then discovered that the necromancer dwelling in Dol Guldur, in the Hill of Sorcery, was in fact Sauron himself. So Kardul and probably one or two other Nazgul took residence here. So they will be leading the attacks against uh, against the elves and the, the dwarves in these mountains. But luckily, because now the, the dwarves took Erebor, the defences in the east here and here, here, have now been greatly increased. And it's actually, I believe, here, the river... I believe this is the river of... And no, that's the river of Anduin. Believe it, I believe it is actually around here that it's the River of Anduin. I need to double check the maps. But this is where the ring was lost for f nearly three for two and a half thousand years until Gollum found it and took it to the Misty Mountains and took and Bilbo found it when he took the ring. So that's it for now and I hope you've enjoyed this gameplay. I know it was a long one but I prefer to be prepped and prepared rather than just sitting on the backside waiting for the enemy to just bombard me. So I'll comment down below what you thought of this gameplay so far. And until then, this is Captain Phoenix. Over and out.